Bean in the Garden. Bean Floats a Boat by Anne Bevins and Matthew Ethan Gray. One morning, Bean decided to skip stones. He picked the smoothest, flattest stones from his mother's garden and walked to the park. One by one, he skipped the stones across the pond's smooth surface. Mr. Zook stood on the other side of the pond. Bean noticed he was holding a remote control. Nearby, a small purple boat turned circles in the water. Mr. Zooks was always yelling at kids to stay off his lawn, and if your ball or frisbee sailed over his fence, it was gone for good. Even though Bean was a little afraid of Mr. Zooks, he wanted to learn more about the purple boat. He inched closer and closer to Mr. Zooks and his remote control. Mr. Zooks noticed Bean standing behind him. "What are you doing there?" he asked angrily. "I'm watching you sail your boat," Bean replied. "It's very interesting. Can I try it?" "Absolutely not," Mr. Zooks said. "You'd only crash it. Leave me alone." Bean was sad. He gathered his stones and went home. At bedtime, Bean told Dad about the little purple boat that Mr. Zook sailed around the pond. The next morning, Dad had a special present for Bean. It was a sailboat, just like the one Mr. Zook's had, only this one was red. Bean ran all the way to the park. Mr. Zook's was already there. Bean lowered his boat in the water on the opposite side of the pond. Bean tried to copy what he'd seen Mr. Zooks doing. He pressed the lever forward, but his boat went sideways and got stuck in some reeds. Mr. Zooks watched Bean out of the corner of his eye. Each time Bean crashed his boat, he righted it and tried again. The next day, Bean came back to the pond. He focused all his energy on making the little red boat sail straight. He was concentrating so hard that he didn't notice Mr. Zook standing behind him. Bean's boat began to lean to the left. It was headed straight for the reeds. Sails right, Mr. Zook said quietly. Bean pushed the lever to the right, and his boat straightened up and sailed clear to the other side of the pond. Bean turned to thank Mr. Zook, but he was gone. With lots of practice, Bean had an easier time getting his boat to go where he wanted it to go. Every afternoon, he and Mr. Zook sailed their boats around the pond without speaking. Bean was still a little afraid of Mr. Zook, but a few days later, he decided to be brave. Mr. Zook, he said, "Would you like to have a race today?" Mr. Zook scowled at Bean, but then he smiled. Yes, a race would be fun. Bean placed his red boat in the water next to Mr. Zook's purple one. First boat to the other bank wins, Mr. Zook said. You start us off. Bean took a deep breath and said, "Ready, set, go!" The boats started across the pond. First, the purple boat was ahead, then the red one. Good job, Mr. Zook said. I can tell you've been practicing. The boats were now more than halfway across the pond. Bean's boat was in the lead. All of a sudden, his boat leaned to the right, heading straight for the reeds. Bean jiggled the lever on his remote control, but the boat wouldn't straighten. He was sure to crash. Sails left, Mr. Zook said quietly. Bean twisted the lever on his remote control, and the boat straightened up as if by magic. The little red boat joined the purple one at the far bank, just a few seconds behind. Great race, Bean said. They walked around the pond and lifted their boats out of the water. Let's race again tomorrow, Mr. Zook said. As Bean and Mr. Zook walked home, Bean felt happy to have a new friend. If you liked this video, click the button to subscribe to our channel.